it's time to turn our attention to the individual recurve women's bronze medal match in the lineup we have poland facing great britain Another high quality lineup here in Dubai. Hazel Chasty, the world number eight from Great Britain, made her Paralympic debut in Tokyo. She goes up against the world number four from Poland, Milena Olszewska, the individual bronze medal at the London and Rio Paralympics in 2012 and 2016, also competed in Tokyo. will be Great Britain's Hazel Chasty to get us underway. Five sets in the individual competition. Nine. And a sighter of nine for her. Three arrows per athlete per set. Looks like just a nine. Didn't it doesn't look like it clipped the line. If it does clip the line in archery, it does get the higher measure. Already Chasty can put this one out of reach. Hey. Just about done enough. Nine. Well, left, right and centre for Olszewska of Poland quite found her rhythm just yet and it's Great Britain's Hazel Chasty who takes a two set point lead after the first set. Early stages Nikki but uh, anything you're spotting there in terms of technique any nerves? I'm not talking about yeah, I'm you sure. I'm talking about the athletes. <laughs> it's always nerves when you watch the compatriot isn't it? <laughs> it's, you know, it's worse watching sometimes than it is being out there on the shooting line but um, yeah I'm sure both these Archers are nervous, you know, it's a chance to get their feet on a podium at a world championships. This is often the hardest match of all, isn't it? The bronze medal match and really determines whether you pick up that medal or not. So, of course, there's going to be nerves. If they weren't nervous, I'd be worried. I always say that to archers, you know, if you don't, if you're not, you probably don't care enough, perhaps. So expect those nerves, but it's how you deal with it. And they're both looking strong. They're both looking calm. But the coach is in the box there as well. Hazel is an avid video logger and uh, she talked this morning about going through the matches and just having a lot of fun with it so she'll be there to have fun and just enjoy this uh, coach there Charlotte Burgess to help her do that both athletes came into this bronze medal match with a smile on the faces it is the toughest match in sport the losing semi-finalist playing off for the last place on the podium but it is the most important match as well. Olszewska trailing by two. We'll start set number two. Nine. A little nod to herself there. I think she was happy with that. A 
different oh, kind of nod. Yeah, but it's followed the group, isn't it? A little bit high, a little bit right. So those other area holes, so fairly consistent in her group pattern. Mm. Just see that wind on the arches there on the shooting line. You can just pop in mm -hmm. high, make an adjustment. Seven or more to draw level. Lovely. Well, a 20 there, six and two sevens from Hazel Chastney having taken the first set. Left the door open for Elena Olszewska to draw level all square after two. Remember the individual recurve matches are played over five sets to target the score of six points from the win. There's a little bit of a nod from uh, Chasty after that first arrow. Is that an indication she knew what went wrong? She knew it was either aim or execution? Yeah, it can be. I mean, it's a sign of uh, that confidence that you know what's happening, it's okay, you know, stick with it. She might just be telling herself, you know, just to reinforce. All right, it wasn't how I want it to be, but I know the shot I want, it's okay. Just keeping herself calm. The last thing you want to see is someone react negatively to a shot which has gone wrong because you're just reinforcing the negativity. So get straight back on it, into the process. Had a good chat there. The coach knows what to do to come back in this match. Set number three of the bronze medal match for the recurve individual women's bronze medal. Hazel Chasty. No. With the first arrow. Back in the centre of the target. Great shot there, just showing she's got a little lean forward on that stall, a little bit of a can to the bow, lean of the bow to the right as well, mm -hmm. and to go in high right. Again, good grouping. Maybe she over adjusted mm. after that last end. little bit soft I think on that shot just collapsing very slightly mm -hmm. so that back arm come forward a little bit on release mm. well the quick mathematicians will be able to work out this one is also now out of reach for Olszewska, so it's a, a bit of to you, to me, as Chasty goes 4 2 up. Coach playing a pivotal role for both archers again. Important to check through your arrows, make sure there's no damage. I think what the coach from GB is doing is just spotting those arrows down on a bit of paper, showing the archer what's happening. It's difficult to see when you're on the shooting line, there's no screens there for these archers, so just get an idea of where those, those arrows are grouping. 
Tolta Kukrana, as a chisty for Antivina, Oshiska, two Antivina, Oshiska, or Sister. Well, this one's swinging around, much like the wind has done here over these medal days. Chasty taking the first. Oh, Shevska taking the second. Chasty coming back to go 4-2 up after three. Oh, Shevska from Poland will shoot first in set number four. Two more to go to decide this bronze medal. Oh, that's a nice for her shot. Ten. Oh. Drop low, open the door. Nine. Just see that wind affecting them, I think, a little bit now on mm -hmm. the shooting line. Another adjustment's been made. Anything blue here or inside is going to do it, and that's more than enough. A very nice set there for Elshevska. No. It's been a tricky one for Chase. You're going low there again. Seven. You think the wind is affecting uh, Chasey more than Elshevska? No, I don't think it is. You know, you can see that the wind is affecting them a little bit on the shooter line. Sometimes it's enough to psychologically make you think, oh, do I need to aim off? Is it enough? Um, but these up and downs doesn't really relate to that. So I don't know. She, you know, she had that end where she was going high uh, quite early on. And was that just the adrenaline, you know, the intensity of the session that gave her that extra power, which pushed them high and she's just settling down into the match and it dropped low perhaps. But uh, wow. Olszewska really got into this match. Look at that grouping. Fantastic scoring. 10-9-9. Absolutely world class. Well, the scores have now been confirmed. All square four set points apiece. Couldn't be tighter as we go into the final set here. Winner takes all. If you win over these three arrows and get the highest score, you are going to be on the podium here in Dubai in 2022 for these World Championships. A tie, and we'll get a shoot-off tiebreaker. Still low from Chasty. Olszewska just taking a breath there. She knows that there's an opportunity here. Yeah. Tick. Just do an adjustment again. Got to get these arrows centered. Eight. 
well, bronze medal with a six or more. It is a six. A 23 for Olszewska. They're just waiting for the confirmation down the other end of the range, but I think they both know where this one's going. Fist bump from the Polish coach. They look happy. Uh, the, the stadium announcer has called it here, and I think we can be confident that this will be a 6-4 victory in the bronze medal match for Milena Olszewska of Poland. She's beaten Hazel Chasty of Great Britain, and she will be on the podium taking bronze at the 2022 World Archery Para Championships here in Dubai.